Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, this beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? Today we're going to talk about Lua again and we're going to make a, another video in the series about if statements and, uh, and stuff like that. And we're going to go through shortly the conditional operators that there are. Um, so this is all going to be in one, one video. But uh, before we get started, please check out the description box. You've got a bunch of links to all useful stuff. Uh, different playlists for C++ and game development and stuff like that. Please check those out. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. You can check out my support page. Follow me there if you can. And uh, just drop a like or subscribe if you want to. Otherwise, just keep watching. And that's that's enough for me. So uh, if we get started, what is an if statement? So for those of you who have programmed, it's pretty easy. But for those of you who haven't and are just getting into programming, um, these are kind of cool. So if statements actually let you execute code depending on something else like depending on a value or, or something like that and um, it's like in basic language or anything in life it's like if if you if you go left then something happens otherwise if you went right then something else happened right or and then you can have a uh, default situation where if you do nothing something else happens so that's kind of how they're built up it, it's called if then or if and then um, let's see else if or else so that's the three different types so if something then do that otherwise else if something do that or else in worst case or in, in some kind of in the default case do something right so that's kind of how this works uh, let me zoom out a little so let me just make a little example so uh, let's have a number i equals 10 right and then we're gonna say if i equals 10 then and then end okay so if i equals 10 i'm just gonna print i i is 10 okay so this basic basic if statement so if i is 10 then we're going to print this out and then we're gonna end the if statement so that's basically how if statements work the if and then at the end don't forget this the then this is is different from other programming languages so you need to write that there and then end to end the whole if statement okay and then anything else can happen down here so if I just save this and then I'm just gonna do Lua uh, so I'm in my directory for Lua here's where the file is Lua if dot Lua Lua if dot Lua and I just run that and then I is 10 so it just kind of went in here and it executed this code right so if we do it a little differently, if I have a 45 here or something like that, and then I run this again, it's not going to do anything because obviously 45 isn't 10, so it didn't work. So it's basic, just very basic logic. Don't freak out. If some kind of condition, so that's what it is. It's an if statement and then a condition and then um, exec execute code and end if statement end the statement so that's basically how every if statement works but I were if I were to do this um, uh, if I wanted more stages to this if statement so if I is 10 then I want to do something otherwise if I is some other value else if I don't remember it's else if I think it's else if in one word like this else if I is greater than 10 then do something else i is not 10 but it is larger okay there we go so i is not 10 but it is larger that's going to be printed out if i is greater than 10. so i'm just going to go through these logical operators in a minute here but if we just run this i is not 10 but it is larger so it went here that's how it works it goes from the left to the right the Lua interpreter or any coding language uh, uh, basically any coding language um, it goes from the right or the left to the right so we have our i it defines that and then it goes down here it looks at this if it checks it i if is i is 10 then let's do this oh i wasn't 10 okay is there an else if yes there is okay let's check this out so what's the condition for this Oh, i is greater than 10 is i greater than 10 yes it is okay then i'm just gonna go ahead and, and uh, run all this beautiful code in here okay so that's basically how that works 
Now, let me, if I just check if I'm recording, yes, I am. Cool. Uh, so there we go. That's basically it. But we have one more thing that we can do before I'm going to talk about the um, the uh, stuff, the relational operators. So before that, I'm just going to go ahead and write else. Uh, and then I'm going to say in here, print uh, i is less than 10. And why? And I don't need these semicolons here either. Sorry about that. So why am I writing i is less than 10? Well, there are two cases here. Either i is exactly 10 or i is greater than 10. And the only thing left is i is less than 10, right? That's the only thing that can happen. So i will be less than 10. You can write anything here. You can do anything, but it's an else statement. This will be called if nothing else is um, executed. If nothing else matches these conditions, then the else case will be will be used. All right. That's why we don't have a condition before this. We have nothing here. It's just else, and then you write your code. So if I run this, if I save this, and I run this again, and then we ob obviously have that. But if I say i is two. Then I'm just going to run this. Um, i is less than 10. So it found, it didn't match any of these and it found this. Now the relational operators there are, obviously here you see two of them. This is equals to. So I don't want you to mix the two equal signs with the one equal sign. So the one equal sign is a, let's see. Um, how was it? Oh, like that. Okay. The one equal sign is a assignment operator, right? And that assigns stuff. So, for example, uh, i equals two. Two, for example. So it, it gives, it assigns the right hand value to the left hand. Assigns right. Um, let's see. Well, I don't have to write that. I can just tell you. I it assigns the right hand value into something in the left hand value. And so that's an assignment operator. We don't want to worry about that. But this is something else. Okay. This is your, um, what is that? That is your um, equality operator, basically. Equality. I'm pretty sure it's called equality operator. Operator. Anyway, it checks if i equals i2. For example, it checks this so it returns either a true or a false and if this comparison is true it compares these two values if this is true then it's going to return a true value otherwise it's going to return a false value all right so for example if i write 10 equals 10 obviously that's going to be true but if i say 2 equals 10 that's not true 2 is not equal to 10 right so that's basically how that works it returns a true or false value and then we have a uh, a not equal to um, equal to, and then a not equal to, and that's basically if two is not equal to ten, then we do something. So this is going to return true because two is not equal to ten. Okay, this statement is true. It is not equal to, and it will return true. Otherwise. If it was 10 here, then it would return false because 10 is equal to 10. So this not equal to won't be valid. So that's kind of how that works. Then you have a little different uh, variations. You have a uh, larger than. So if we say is 10 larger than 3, yes, that is true, right? 10 is larger than 3. And then you have the other way around, uh, smaller than, less than actually. Uh, less than so is 10 less than 3 false false let me just write that here true false 10 is not less than 3 right 3 is not it's just this one the other way around so the mouth the way the mouth is pointing that's the one we're comparing you know that's the one that should be bigger so 3 is not larger than 10 10 is not less than 3 so that's false this is true and this would be false okay and then we have less than or equal to less than or 
equal to and that would be written like this 10 is less than or equal to 3 that would be a false and then we have larger than or equal to larger than or equal to so that would be 10 3 this is true okay so it also checks the equality it's the same as this and this combined so it's a combination of those two and the same for the other one so that's a double double thing right there and uh, so you have all of those and then in if statements you can also have and and you can have else or uh, or or not okay that's something you can do in if statements as well so I'm just gonna show you that a little quickly here one thing you cannot do uh, operators like I said before you can't do I plus plus and stuff like that I hope I told you that in the previous videos but I probably did uh, let me just see okay we have just a little more time to show you an example here so an example would be if let's have two variables I and J equals 10 okay and let me just do it down here so if I equals to 2 and J is greater than 2 or greater than 6 then we're gonna do something so I'm just gonna print lol mao in here okay just like that if i is 2 and j is greater than 6 so both of these have to return true in order for this to be printed out so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna run this uh wait let me see here uh there we go i think i forgot that there we go okay so uh lol mao my dude okay no problems because these two match but if this didn't match if I did it the other way around uh, J is less than 6 then it's not gonna print that out okay it did not print out lol um, so that's kinda how that works and not see if that works no that didn't work sorry about that uh, okay but anyway mm, there you go so that's basically how that works you can chain these together you can do a bunch of stuff and you can um, yeah, you can play around with the if statements, just uh, do a bunch of stuff with them. And they're really important because you're going to have to kind of segment your code and do different things depending on different variables. And you can compare a lot of stuff in here. You can compare objects almost. You can compare, uh, or your own Lua objects basically. You can compare, uh, uh, what do you call them, strings. You can do a bunch of stuff. If a string is equal to another string, character is equal to another character, number is equal to another number, all that stuff. So you can compare all that stuff. Just remember these operators all right and remember the difference between the single equal to symbol and the double all right so I'm sorry about this video being a little weird uh, I'm not I'm not really still uh, comfortable with Lua in, in many ways because it's really easy to work with so I get kind of confused because I always work with C++ and the simplicity kind of confuses me sometimes so but that's cool you kind of get used to it um, but just uh, just play around with this like I said have fun I hope you learned something today. Check out the description box. Follow me on Twitter if you can. Um, drop a like. Subscribe if you want to. Otherwise, uh, yeah, just keep watching, keep learning. And if I miss something, please tell me. I'll make another video on it and I'll add it. Uh, otherwise, just, uh, just keep working hard, all right? Take care, everybody. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.